G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to deviate away from the usual format of my weekly videos and take a brief look at who I predict will be the top 10 players in the AFL in 5 years. To do this video, I've tried to extrapolate the form of some of the best young guns we currently have in our league, with particular focus on the players currently in their early 20s. Counting back the rankings from 10th to 1st, I'll run you through who I think will be the top 10 players in 2024. Kicking off our top 10 is GWS's Tim Taranto. Given the production line of talent that has been the GWS midfield in recent years, I think it has been overlooked just how good Tim Taranto is for a 21 year old player. Standing at 187 centimetres and 87 kilos, Taranto possesses the perfect blend of athleticism and footy now that could potentially make him one of the best midfielders in the game. Taranto is averaging nearly 27 possessions a game so far in 2019 and looms as an important player both in the immediate and long-term future of the Giants. At number 9 we have selected Bulldog Aaron Norton. Norton was selected with pick 5 in the 2017 draft and was projected to be a Jeremy McGovern-like defensive talent. Even those with the biggest raps on him however, likely didn't expect that he would be good enough to finish top 5 in the Bulldogs best and fairest in just his first season. As an elite intercept marking key back that has shown an ability to drift forward and contribute, I believe Norton is the best talent in his position across the league. Ranked at number 8 is another GWS giant, full forward Jeremy Cameron. Jeremy Cameron burst onto the AFL scene in 2012, and when he managed an incredible 62 goals in just his second season at the level, many thought he was set to become a great of our game. He's put up respectable numbers since, scoring over 45 goals in each of the past four seasons, but nonetheless stopped short of becoming the incredible forward he has the potential to be. So far in 2019, he leads the Coleman Medal Award, and I think his form is here to stay. In 2024, he will be turning 31 years old, but he could follow the Kennedy and Franklin example and remain the best key forward in the game. In seventh spot is Sydney's young superstar Isaac Heaney. Heaney is already such a prominent gun for the Swans that it may be easy to forget that he's just 22 years of age, with a lot of football in front of him still. Heaney is equally damaging as a high-flying goal-scoring forward or a smooth-moving midfielder. In time, it is expected he will spend increased minutes as an on-baller, but his ability to excel in multiple positions make him an incredibly dangerous player. Ranked fifth is Melbourne's Clayton Oliver. Oliver has made such an impression in his first three seasons of footy that club legend Gary Lyon has suggested he may be their greatest ever midfielder. So far in 2019, Oliver is averaging over 32 possessions a game, and incredibly, he remains several months shy of his 22nd birthday. In that Melbourne side stacked with talent, it is quite possible that he could have a Brownlow medal and a Premiership medallion within five years' time. Cracking the top five is Collingwood's Brody Grundy. Grundy is already arguably the greatest ruckman in the game, and it's easy to forget he hasn't even turned 25 yet. The South Australian averaged an incredible 20 possessions and 40 hitouts a game last year, as his side narrowly missed out on the Premiership. There is still a lot of football left in Brody Grundy. In fourth spot, I have another magpie in Jordan Dugowie. It's probably in the last 12 months that Dugowie has truly shot to prominence, after he bagged an impressive 48 goals in the 2018 season. Although he was originally drafted as a midfielder, Dugowie has settled on a niche as a leading forward in an established Collingwood lineup stacked with midfield talent. It remains to be seen whether the young gun will ever fully transition into the midfield, but given his prodigious talent as a forward and the plethora of midfield options at the pass, he may not necessarily need to. Dugowie gets a big boost in ratings for me on the basis of his ability to turn it on in massive occasions. He truly is a big game player. In third spot is Josh Kelly from the GWS Giants. Drafted with pick 2 in the 2013 draft, the 24 year old has put together over 100 impressive games for the Giants as a hard running, evasive midfielder with elite kicking skills. His last full season for the Giants was in 2017 in which he earned 21 Brownlow votes. Provided he can stay fit, I think it is likely he will win the medal himself one day. Securing his signature could be the most important variable in GWS's medium term success. Making number 2 on the list is Carlton superstar Pat Cripps. Cripps is another player that is such an established star at AFL level already that it's incredible to think about how much of his career is still in front of him. In terms of his playing style, Cripps is an unprecedented player in the AFL, playing as an inside midfielder at a gigantic 196 centimetres. Cripps takes the term contested beast to a whole new level, breaking the record for contested possessions in a season in 2018. Impressively, Cripps amassed 20 Brownlow votes last year in a side that won just two games for the year. 
While he's probably close to his ceiling in terms of fulfilling his talent, he's still good enough to rank number two on my list. Ranking first on the list is Bulldog Marcus Bontempelli. Like Cripps, Bontempelli is an unusually large midfielder standing at 193 centimetres, but what sets Bont apart is his combination of athleticism, footy smarts and skill. The Bont spent much of 2018 splitting his time equally between the forward line and midfield and probably didn't have the same impact as he's had in previous years. In 2019, he's taken his game to another level so far, averaging nearly 30 possessions a game. One of Bontempelli's key strengths is his versatility, with the potential to be a frontline midfielder, a forward target, or even play a role behind the ball. His rare mix of attributes are what earns him the rank of number one on this list, as I believe he has the most upside of any of these candidates. So there you have it, my predicted list of the top 10 players of the AFL five years from now. Notable absentees from my list include midfielders Sam Walsh, Adam Chera, and Cam Rayner, who are all probably just too young to have made the cut for the top 10. Hawks midfielder Jager O'Meara is a dark horse to make this list, as it appears he may have finally realised his potential. GWS superstar back Lockie Whitfield can also consider himself unlucky to miss out as the game's best rebounding defender. In terms of key position talents, Brisbane's Eric Hipwood and West Coast Oscar Allen were probably the next in line as Smokies for this list. As always guys, I welcome your opinions in the comments section. Just how right or how wrong have we got it? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for future AFL content. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye for now.